maybe we'll have to run some of those photos through, you know, Facebook's biometrics, and, and we can discover who yeah, they are. That's what I, was talking, I was talking about, yeah, I made a joke to Jason Burmas yesterday. I wish you were a Mossad agent so we could use their system to uh, identify these Bilderbergers. All right, final caller. It's the Info Warrior with Jason Burmas. And uh, I just had a really good time tonight, you know. Lots of positive vibes, if you will, from Dr. Leonard Horowitz. And sadly, this is I speak as a Christian Jew and American. Sadly, I have to tell you that the most advanced countries in the world are those Muslim nations, those Arabic nations, who understand what we're looking at here is an Anglo-American genocidal operation. All right, I got five minutes to take on the Nazis or the people that just don't like Jews for some reason. Look, man. It's not a Jewish conspiracy, okay? Get over it. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hook-nosed people don't run the world in some kind of cave while they suck the blood out of babies in some weird ritual you believe in, all right? I'm sorry. It doesn't, it doesn't work like that, okay? It's people of all races, of all religious backgrounds, of all creeds, of all colors. They have to use them, even if they're not at the top of the pyramid. Okay, so please, oh, the Jews run the media, they, they're like rats and cockroaches. Give me a break, dude. Please go hang yourself. There's somebody I wouldn't mind with a little population control. Look, if you hate the Jews, don't call into my show. If you hate the blacks, don't call into my show. If you hate the Mexicans, don't call into my show. The Mexicans want to destroy America. They hate this country with an absolute passion. And I'm supposed to buy into the media lie that, oh, they're these sweet little people that love us and they want to help us. Pure bull. I love it. I love it when people, you know, call in to try to discredit a great show. You know, uh, come on, the Jews. Come on. It's just so beyond ridiculous. The moon has been operating very suspiciously so beyond ridiculous oh you got a mustache I'll just worship you oh you got a mustache it's okay oh your demonic little mustaches hiring more people telling them grow mustaches so they can act tough I mean it's just an army of people in black uniforms with mustaches all right what about the Jewish question Jason the question is if you're asking that question why are you still breathing I mean, why haven't you really just taken a toaster oven and thrown it in the bathtub with yourself and had a party? Because that's what you need to do. I'm going to be back on with, you know, that Zionist shill, Bob Tuscan. Here's how I see it. Again, our message stands the same. It, it remains, you know, we want the exposure. We want to reach more people. And if you see it as we're uh, being linked by someone who you deem to be a shill, well, let's let the people make up their own minds. You don't uh, think Alex Jones audience. is a shill? You don't What's think that? Alex Jones is a shill? Hollywood is owned by the Arabs. The majority of world stock markets are owned by the Arabs. Saudis is owned uh, Fox. Uh, but, I mean, so the point is they just own everything. I mean, they control the whole deal. I, I, like I said, I'm not going to talk about that. Why I'm, not? I'm not going to go on the record about I mean, that. We don't, we don't need to pressure I mean, Bob. Dude, but at the end of the day, you have the right to be linked up or not be linked up with Alex Jones. And you guys chose to be linked up with Alex Jones. But you don't choose to be linked up with somebody. What do you mean you don't choose? You can say, hey, I don't, want, I don't want to be linked up by you. Well, why would you want to put down uh, reaching more people, Mike? It's not about reaching more people. It's why about, it's about standing. It? No, 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 it's not. I mean, if you think it's about reaching just numbers and money, then I would disagree with you on that. I did, I did, did I say money? I, it's, a, it's about... Well, reaching more people. Now, why, why do you do a radio show if you, if you don't want to reach anybody? No, but I would never hook up with a guy that I knew was full of crap. Who's seeing up? Do you see him uh, grabbing his tuchus and making out with the guy? No. Well, he Shane Shepard and Bellis did at the Bilderberg Barbecue. Most certainly did not. He, he, <laughs> yes, he I, did. Yes, he did. It was well, uh, him and uh, Jason uh, Burmis, and they were there, and they said, hey, and... Oh, yeah, intelhub.com, they're great. They're great. Well, here's what? the Bilderberg Barbecue. The Drudge Report four, five years ago started really bringing our information out. Uh, I know he even linked to the Intel Hub the other day. That was really exciting. Are you, are you kidding what? me? He, he endorses our website. Great. He endorses your website. website. Why does he endorse your website, Bob? Because he, he likes the website. It's been very clear that most conspiracy theories about any of these people, even Alex Jones, too, a certain extent have essentially just been pure garbage the entire time. What I wanted to say is this. I want to say this out in the open. 
I support the Jewish state of Israel. They have been in that land. That is their land. And it's the UN that has declared them terrorist. The UN has declared that that, that uh, Israel has been acting uh, wrongly, and the UN supports groups that want to dissolve the state of Israel. Which the entire time, you know, we meet up with Jason Berman. I hope The Simpsons goes on for more than two seasons after this. You know, animation domination is a important part of my life. I'm a huge MMA fan. I watch all of it, addicted mm -hmm, to it. Mm -hmm, uh, mm -hmm. You know, I, I do buy into a lot of these, you know, social, cultural garbage, uh, you know, but I think you can have both. People are constantly asking me, Dan, what do you think of Alex Jones? You know, do you like him? Do you think he's doing good work in the fight against the New World Order? Uh, do you not like him? Do you think he could be COINTELPRO or, or an agent who is being placed there as controlled opposition? You are not going to get away! Hey ladies, the Second and First Amendment, get the hell out of my face! Um, well, let me just say right off the bat that me personally I have been a fan of Alex Jones for over 10 years now. Uh, th there's just no doubt that he has been, and his work, has been very integral in, in my awakening process. Scanning, zzz, control, zzz, manipulate scientific data, take over, blast control, world government, shut down infrastructure, ship everything to China. He just, look at this person. And you're like, I can see him. He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. And there's no doubt that he's been influential to me and, and, and the direction that I've chosen to take my life in. And, uh, you know, I think it, it goes the same for a lot of people. Um, Alex has woken up millions of people. Ah, ah, humanity will crush you! <laughs> ah, I love it! They're weak! And the minute we reveal them, their destruction begins! Ah, parasites will be crushed. I can taste your weakness. Crushing, crushing, crushing! and uh, many of whom have gone on to become a very loud voice in the movement. Why are you still breathing? I mean, why haven't you really just taken a toaster oven and thrown it in the bathtub with yourself and had a party? Because that's what you need to do. So the whole idea that Alex Jones is somehow, you know, not thankful for his fans or egotistical. So many days I get up here and just control myself and get guests on and I'm gonna be honest with you, you know about 90% of the time I know more than all the guests do just I didn't see that whatsoever I'm you know someone might hear this and just you know the Intel Hub shilling for Alex Jones now but you know what I just report what I see and what I believe to be the truth and I can say wholeheartedly 100% that I believe Alex Jones is the real deal and uh, most, if not all, of the things about him are greatly exaggerated, if not an outright lie. I'm the weirdo because I'm sitting in the tree going, <laughs> a chimpanzee can't talk, so they just go, you understand that? See, I'm normal. You're not normal. <laughs> Am I the weirdo or are you the weirdo? <laughs> Whose head screwed on straight? Mine or yours?